Once again, we'll get, be getting started here very shortly, just a minute or two. If you could make your way to a seat, get yourself settled in, we'd appreciate it. Thank you. Test, test, test. One, two, three, four, five. Again, we'll get started in one minute, exactly one minute from now. They'll come in and we'll get going. Just as a, to get this out there ahead of time, we're going we're gonna to be done at 10.30. We have uh, some people that have uh, got to get some various places, so we'll, we'll cut this off at 10.30. Just know that in advance. Uh, we'll get started shortly. Welcome, everybody. Thank you. It's my pleasure to introduce the president. Fair enough. Uh, my pleasure to introduce the president of the University of Washington, uh, Anamari Kausi. She'll, uh, she'll introduce Pat Chun. All right. Well, thank you all for being here. You know, can't wait till we're here in the in the fall. Um, you know, at the beginning of the season, I'm absolutely delighted to welcome Pat Chun as our new director of athletics. He is now, he is now officially a Husky. 
And part of why I'm so incredibly delighted is he really brings a track record of success and experience in college sports that makes him the ideal person to help us with this big transition into the Big Ten. During his time at WSU, 10 different programs made the NCAA tournament, and the school won 16 and individual Pac-12 championships. He has had success everywhere that he's gone, and he's had a lot of experience with the Big Ten, and that is gonna be so incredibly helpful as we make this transition. He spent 15 years at Ohio State, um, and followed by five and a half years at Florida Atlantic University. Some of you know I'm a Florida girl, and go Owls, too. Nice. <laughs> Pat knows our state. He's committed to our values, and that is so important. This is someone who will support the whole student athlete, and that is so incredibly important. That is something that is ingrained in us, and he brings those values. One of the things that made him such a good fit was how respected he is on a national level. I can't tell you when I did make phone calls, and people made phone calls to me from across the country telling me how incredibly well respected. And you know, we all know this is a really dynamic time in college athletics. And because of the positions that he's had, he can help us skate to where the puck's going to be. He has a better sense. I mean, not that anyone has a magic ball, but he has a better sense and he can pick up the phone and he has contacts that are gonna be so important to help position us, not just for the Big Ten, but for a very, very dynamic uh, period in college football. He was honored as the Under Armour Athletic Director of the Year in 2019. He was recently appointed to the College Football Playoff Selection Committee and he serves on the NCAA Division I Council. He is very, he knows the landscape and he knows the people in the NCAA and that's really important. He's in fact president of the National Association of Collegiate Directors of Athletics and he co-founded the Asian American and Pacific Islander Athletics Alliance. He also co-chaired co within the Pac-12 the Impact Leadership Council which focuses on college sports as a vehicle for positive good and positive change in the world which athletics is and can be. Look at all the people it's brought together just this morning on short notice. Um, and he's really ideally equipped to make sure that those values that we have that are so deep, that are so much a part of who we are, continues into the future, even though there's so much swirl going on. We're especially excited about the skill set and depth of experiences that Pratt brings in areas that are absolutely critical for success of our program. He's demonstrated you know, amazing strength in cultivating community support. We have a great community here and in fundraising, which is gonna be more and more important. There's no question about it. And he has an eye for talent in terms of hiring great coaches, which is so incredible. And it's gonna be crucial in the coming years. And above all, I wanna repeat, his commitment to student athlete success off the field as well as on is unquestionable. And that is part of why I am really excited. In fact, I am thrilled that he will be here to help us navigate a very difficult environment and to make sure that we are poised for success. So please join me in welcoming our new director of Husky Athletics, Pat Shun. Quick hug. Go dogs! Uh, go dogs as well. Um, I, I pride myself on public speaking, but I've, I have not slept in a week because of <laughs> basketball travel and trying to get this done and get my family situated. So I prepared some remarks, and I know we'll we'll do some Q and A after. Well, but we have that yeah. in common. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, let me let me read through this, and then uh, then we'll move into the next phase. But uh, good morning, uh, and thank you all so much for coming out today. Uh, I especially want to thank the members of the media, our donors, our athletic staff and others who are back here again today after coming out yesterday for Coach Sprinkle's introduction. Uh, I want to begin by thanking President Kose for the kind words. Uh, we are here today for many reasons, uh, but one of the key ones is the President's decisiveness in moving quickly to make this a reality. 
along with Natalie and our daughters, I am truly grateful to you, President Kase, for this incredible opportunity. Uh, we actually arrived on campus yesterday morning, uh, and the warm welcome uh, we've received from so many has been tremendous. Uh, I see, I thought I saw Aaron, there's Aaron O'Connell. I want to thank Aaron O'Connell for stepping in as interim AD again. <laughs> She, she's offered to resign as interim AD, but we, I have a transition period, so I still need her, to, I still need her help. Uh, but but you've, uh, you're a treasure to this athletic department and, and a true servant leader, and we appreciate everything you do. And uh, I want to also want to thank uh, Shannon Kelly and the entire athletic staff for uh, opening your collective arms to our family. Um, really, the, the, the last couple of days have been incredible. Um, the collection of people in the uh, ICA, um, you know, we've been on the ground for a little over 24, 24 hours and meeting so many new teammates. We had a dinner with the head coaches last night, learning more about this great institution. It's just, uh, it is filled with extraordinary people. Um, before I talk about the opportunity in front of us, though, I do want to acknowledge a few of the people that have, have, have shaped uh, my career and my life uh, to the good people at Washington State University. Uh, thank you, President Schultz, for the past six years. Uh, your leadership has allowed the athletics department to achieve record levels of success on so many levels. Uh, you've been a great bar boss, partner, and friend, and I appreciate everything you and Noel have done for me and my family. Uh, to the Cougar team of coaches and staff, uh, thank you for the dedication and hard work. It was, a, uh, it was a difficult reason to leave for so many reasons, but leaving people uh, that you love and care about is always the biggest. We've made some lifelong friends at WSU, and we are truly grateful to all of them. And finally, to the young women and men who wear the WSU uniform, thank you for representing the university with tremendous grit, heart, and integrity. The Washington State Athletics Department is uniquely positioned these next few years to set its own course to success in this ever-evolving and complex environment of college athletics, and I wish them all the best. To Gene Smith, the athletic director at Ohio State, uh, who's retiring in a few months. He's already said he's coming out for a game. Uh, but thank you for the constant advice, uh, counseling, guidance. You're the best mentor, period. And I am a part of the endless list of people who have benefited from your wisdom and selflessness. Uh, I'd like to introduce my family real fast. Uh, you guys are gonna have to stand for this. So my, my wife, Natalie. Our, our youngest, Greta. Our middle, Kennedy. And our oldest, Vanna. Uh, so they are uh, clearly the most important people in my life. Uh, Natalie is the most supportive wife on the planet. Uh, she provides an endless source of love, forgiveness, and selflessness to me on a daily basis. Uh, to our girls, Vanna, Kenny, and Greta, thank you for allowing your dad to continue to chase his goals and dreams. I love you guys. Uh, so as we all know, uh, in this journey of life, we are all products of our upbringing. So for those of you who don't know me, I am the son of two immigrants from South Korea. Uh, my parents uh, came here with two tools in their tool belt, uh, a belief in education and an unquestioned work ethic. Uh, my dad's profession, when he came to this country, uh, he was a Taekwondo teacher before he passed away. Uh, he was a 10th degree black belt. So in probably uh, the most Korean of ways, I grew up uh, a coach's kid, uh, watching my dad use a sport uh, to help teach life lessons and to build people up. Uh, my mother, who's now in her late 70s, was a classically trained pianist uh, before she came to this country in the early 70s. Uh, today, she still works in the local grocery store in our hometown in Strongsville, Ohio. Uh, she is our family example of work ethic and toughness, uh, and she brought the hammer down when it came to school and education uh, for me and my sister. Uh, I grew up in Big Ten country. Uh, Natalie and I both graduated from a Big Ten university. Uh, Vanna is currently a freshman at that same Big Ten university, uh, and I spent the first 15 years of my career at that same Big Ten institution. Uh, what I did learn specifically during that time there is that it is all about people. Uh, people are the heart and soul of every organization. You win with people. Eight days ago, my friend Jen Cohen called me. Uh, Wednesday night, I was sitting in uh, Omaha, Nebraska, the night before our, uh, Washington State's NCAA uh, tournament game, and uh, uh, I picked up the phone, and she said, uh, what are you thinking? And, I had, and Jen and I, I think it's known that we're friends, and I, so I told her, well, what should I be thinking? Uh, but she went on, and uh, um, she talked about her love of Washington. Uh, she spent the rest of the phone call talking about the people, the relationships, the selflessness, the pride uh, Huskies have uh, with this athletic department, um, with this university, and with this community. 
Uh, on Monday, I was able to spend some time with President Kase, uh, Region Chair David Zeke, uh, and Region and Fa Faculty Athletic Rep, uh, Dr. Alexis Harris. Uh, they shared with me the impact that UW has on the city, state, country, and world. They also talked about the importance of athletics and the source of pride and joy it brings to the Husky Nation. Most importantly, they talked about the importance of family and what it means when you are part of the UW family. Uh, this is a unique moment in time uh, for UW and college athletics. As college sports continues to go through dynamic change, Washington and the Big Ten Conference should be leaders, not followers. Uh, we will not take a back seat to anyone, and we will ensure that our voices are heard at the highest levels of college athletics. On Montlake, while football often gets the most attention, we will pursue championships, and I say that plural, in every sport that we sponsor. We will provide our student athletes with a transformational student athlete experience that will shape the rest of their lives. We will support them as they pursue their degrees and career interests. We will engage the community, both local and state, uh, as a point of pride. Uh, we will be great partners across campus and friends with our supporters and fans. We will be unrelenting in our daily pursuit of excellence. We, are, we will work every day to be the best we are absolutely supposed to be. So let me end with this. As many of you have heard too many speeches the last two days, although Sprinkles was probably more emotional. Um, but uh, uh, we have work to do in athletics. Uh, the, the, the space that we're competing at is at the highest levels, and you guys lived it uh, most recently in the sport of football. Uh, but from the bottom of our hearts, uh, we thank you for allowing us to be a part of the University of Washington, um, and go Huskies. And just to make it official, you are now a Husky. Thank you. You can see why I'm so excited. Dr. Kelsey, pose for a second for the cameras. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, want to pose real quick. We'll do this photo on the first side. Hold the jersey at some point. Oh, you can okay. pull it now? <laughs> That's the photo op, right? All right. Yeah. Are you guys good back there? All right, with that, we're going to open it up for a relatively brief uh, Q&A session. Uh, Sam here will bring the microphone to uh, the press as they need it, so it'll get his attention, and uh, if you could introduce yourself uh, before you ask your question. Thank you. Christian Cable, <coughs> excuse me, Christian Cable from OnMontLake.com. Um, from, from both of your perspectives, this job was open six, seven months ago. Pat, to what degree were you interested then? And, and Anamari, to what degree was Pat on your radar at, at that time? You know, there is, you know, Pat's on everyone's radar that wants a top AD, and certainly he was on mine, and we did reach out. It wasn't the right time for him, so he wasn't part of the search search, but we did reach out. Christian, good to see you. Um, my, my, the goals of myself and my family were in a very different place in the fall. Uh, as you guys know, college athletics continue, continues to uh, change and evolve. And you know, when when this opportunity, I mean, it came so fast. Um, you know, it, it aligned with where we want to be and the challenges we want to take next. Um, it, it, you know, it, it's tough to leave a place that you love, and it's tough to leave a place that uh, you care so much about the people. Uh, but it, you know, at the end of the day, we were looking for a different challenge and a different opportunity and aligned with our goals and you know in March of this year. Hey uh, Pat, Tim Booth from the AP. How you doing? Tim. Um, you've spent the better part of six, nine months sort of fighting with this university in a lot of ways because of what's gone on with the Pac-12. How did you sort of square that as you went through the process of deciding that this was the move that you wanted to make? Well, I think we were fighting with everybody in college athletics, so it's, it's, it's not one in particular. You know, I, I look at the last six months as just, just another, um, another experience to help shape me. Uh, you know, I told the group, you know, you know, one of my most vivid memories of last August is, you know, it's one of the joys of being in the industry we're in. You know, we gathered all our student athletes and, you know, we told them, I told them, hey, we need to take a page out of your book. Uh, life is 10% what happens, 90% how you react to it. Uh, you've been coached to take it play by play, game by game, uh, practice by practice, and you know we're going to control the controllables, and we're going to try to uh, map forward. And um, you know I look at the last few months more of wow, what a what incredible work Washington State and Oregon State did to position themselves. Um, it is uh, for two universities to be aligned, the leadership there. Uh, it's made me a better leader. It's made me 
you know, a better understanding. It's been hard because I don't, you know, you're a little bit more disconnected from your athletic department because you're spending more time with attorneys and strategists and, you know, endless Zooms, it feels like. But, um, you know, I stand here, to, or I sit here today because of what just happened because, it, you know, it, it shapes you and changes. You know, Scott Barnes, you know, at Oregon State, we joke around, we spent a few months as co-commissioners of, of a conference, and, you know, that was never part of my job description. Yeah, if I might just add, the fact that he is a fighter is part of what, in fact, made him so attractive. And now he's going to fight for the dogs. Hey, Pat Scott Hanson, Seattle Times. Hey, Scott. I, w I wonder what you would say to Cougar fans, who, including uh, President Schultz, who seem to be very angry that you would leave to their biggest rival. Um, well, thank you. I mean, it, it's, you know, the... Um, you know, it was, it was an extraordinary experience for six years. I, I You know, President Schultz, you know, he, he's been fantastic. Um, you know, I've, you know, when we talked about this, you know, when I told, you know, I thanked him when, you know, when, when I told him I had accept, accepted the job. I mean, he's, um, he's a friend, he's a mentor, he's, he's you know, it's, uh, you could not ask, you know, during that period for a better boss, partner, and friend. So, uh, and to, to all, all the Cougs, it's, it's just gratefulness and just, you know, it's gratitude. I mean, yeah, the, uh, the, the, the run that, that was there, which is, 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 is I'm such a small part of the equation, but, I mean, we won our, you know, Washington State won its first ever women's, you know, basketball championship for a women's sport in the Pac-12, what men's basketball did, football, heck, was finished in the top 10, the highest graduation rates ever, highest uh, grade point average ever, uh, the things they were able to do in student athlete development, and uh, it, it was just, um, you know, you're grateful for the time, you're grateful for the people. At the end of the day, it's all about people, and you know, just just so happy with you know, you know, the outreach I've received from Coos has been nothing short of, you know, uh, you know, if you get hugged through a text message, I mean, that that's the kind of outreach I've received. Yeah, I've got, and just so you know, I've gotten off off social media, so yeah. <laughs> so I am a, I purposely am oblivious to a lot of the things. So. And, yeah, I haven't read the paper this yeah. morning, but just to be clear, this was a national search, and we looked for the best person in the country. It was incidental that that person was at Washington State, although there are some pluses because he does know our state. He does know people in a program. Um, you know, Jen and him and, and with Troy. You know, these were folks who, you know, who worked together. A lot of our donor community knows him. Those are all pluses. But quite frankly, the reason why he's here is he was the best AD for us at this time as we're making this big transition in the country. Mike Varel, Seattle Times. Uh, President Kause just mentioned, you know, the importance of being in the state and the possible pluses with having that kind of history here. And the, the prior AD was not from here and hadn't spent much time here. And I'm just curious, your stint at Washington State and just understanding the conferences you guys come from and just the kind of the landscape here. How do you feel like that can help you as you maneuver forward? Um, so, how my past experiences help the transition to the Big Ten? You know, the, the irony is that probably the least amount of time I've spent in Seattle is on this campus. I can count on my finger. It's a couple football games and a couple basketball games. That's it. So it's, it's you know, the nice part is, um, you know, we, 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 we committed to um, immersing our hearts and souls into whatever, you know, endeavor that we're at as a family. Uh, that means getting to know the people, getting to know the state, you know, going on car trips, trying to, you know, we're, I was telling Anamari, there's still parts of this, this side of the state that we haven't uh, been able to get to because of, um, you know, where life is with, with, with club soccer, club volleyball, gymnastics, all that stuff. Um, so that, that's from the personal side of it. But, um, you know, it's, you know, I've, I've worked specifically with a lot of the elected officials, you know, on national issues, on statewide issues. Um, you know, it's, it's, you're, there's a huge responsibility in college athletics, I and mean, we've talked about it, how fortunate are we uh, in, in the committees that may help shape athletics in Congress are led by leadership from the state of Washington. So as you, as you piece it all together, it's, you know, all, do all those things help matter? Well, you know, familiarity does help. You know, it's like being around this new staff that really isn't that new to me. You know, it's being around these coaches, spending time with them that some are new. I, you know, definitely Danny and Jen are new. Uh, but you got a group of people here that, you know, they love and care about this place. And, you know, we, we just got all got to start working together to, for, for the common good of our student athletes. Chris Daniels, hey, Chris. Como. Good to see you. Good Pat. to see you too. Um, people leave for rivals all the time, whether it's in TV or newspapers, pipe fitters, seafood industry. 
but this is a different dynamic. I think you can both appreciate this. So the, the question is really for both of you. Um, President Schultz this morning uh, is quoted in Coug Fan as saying he's profoundly disappointed in the move and that for you, President Kasse, the relationship is not the same and is definitely damaged. I know you said some nice things off the top, but how do you respond to those comments from President Schultz across the well, mountains? You know, I haven't read them, so, you know, I'm not aware of it. I am, you know, we have been uh, good colleagues um, for many years. I have, uh, in fact, you know, a really strong WSU is good for the UW. There is no question. It is important to have two really strong R1s in this state, and we have gone out of our way when the director of NSF was here. We made sure to invite Kurt. And I will continue to do everything I can to continue to make WSU strong academically as well. I have lots of good relationships there. Um, I can understand. Um, I assume that he made the comments this morning. Um, we will do some repair work and we will continue to work together for the best of um, the entire state. Uh, yeah, I did not see those comments either, but you know, we're all human. Uh, but I'll also take just, you know, what, I mean, it's, you know, what our final conversations were. Um, you know, Kirk's a class act. You know, he's been nothing but great to me and my family. Um, so I, I'll, I'll just, I know the conversations we had personally. Um, you know, I know he knows how I feel about him. I know how he feels about me. It's, you know, he's, he's like I said, like him and Noel, you know, we, we, we will stay connected with them. That we'll call it. Thank you very much, everybody, for coming out. Thank you, Thank you Dr. Cassia. Thank you, Todd. All right, go make that ferry.